Hey, so welcome back to the channel guys. So we're just working on the Mark II, wiring it up. I just made a new loom for the for the ECU, for the engine harness. I just made a new engine harness. Actually not a new loom for the engine harness. <laughs> so this is where I'm mounting my ECU. This, this little cover goes underneath the steering wheel. I'll show you in a minute. And uh, look down there the new harness I'm just gonna wrap it up a little bit before I put on the integral piping back on and all that so yeah I still need my plugs I still don't have any plugs for the sensors and the the uh, what other sensors is there? and for the coil still don't have any of those plugs so uh, they'll probably be here uh, like in a month or two so then I have to do all of this to a certain degree again all right, so I'm just wiring up these relays using a, a relay plug that I got on my previous car and I engine swapped it so I had this lay, laying around and uh, I'm just going to use this as the harness for the relays. One is going to be my fuel pump and one is going to be my ECU and fuel injectors. So yeah. So yeah, wiring is pretty boring so I won't show you guys too much of this. It's basically just run one wire all the way to the to the plug and run it back to here and uh, check the length, make sure they're all the right length and then uh, cut them, spin them. I'm just spinning them the same way I did on the ECU into these. Into these little guys. Strip the wire, spin them using pliers and and a side cutter I don't know if people use these but this one is pretty blunt so it does a really good job at crimping wires As you can see, they're all pinned in. So yeah, now I just have to plug in the relays. Also made a little relay panel underneath here. Let me see if I can show you. Yeah, right back here. Yep, so it's just two relays hanging over there. One for the ECU and one for the fuel pump. Okay, so we have some progress. I mean, I'm done. <laughs> so I put the ECU in there. I can access the tuning port through here. And I put on the cover so you can only see the wires all the way back there. The ECU wires. And I think that's fine for now. I might try and tuck them up a little bit higher. Yeah, but everything works. I started the car, drove it around a little bit, wired up everything up front. So now I'm just cleaning up the wiring so that I can put the intercooler piping back on. So right now you can see all the wires come out from there. And they're just very loose. So I'm just gonna unplug them all from around here and uh, use some insulation tape and bind them together. Put some of these type of sleeving over just to protect them a little bit and yeah we we'll see how she drives i did start it and it was really rich so i think it might be getting too much fuel because the injectors are actually um, getting good power now so it's probably getting too much fuel because of that but yeah we'll just do those couple of things and we'll be done for now I still have to take it all out again, more or less all out, because I want to use that hole in the firewall for a different purpose and, why, and run the wires through a different hole, because I don't currently have a drill with me.
seeing our crank signal issue, I thought uh, I thought of this, or I read up of, of, of this. People they use the guitar wire, mic wire, for a shielded wire, as the sound equipment is does require does require shielding to be effective in reduced noise. So it does look like this wire is has does look like this wire is shielded. So this is the shielding around it. And in the middle is the signal. So that will be our that will be our um, crank signal. I hope it works, and I'll show you if it works. All right, so I just finished up the wiring, all the way tucked in back there. Comes out of the firewall with the camera right there, right over here. Comes out right here. It runs underneath the intercooler piping and then splits up over here to the injectors and the throttle body and to the fans and the crank sensor yeah so it's pretty clean I mean I just have to put the sleeving over all of them that video and if you found it helpful please feel free to like and subscribe peace you next to it through this little cobble through this little cupboard